I think Hugo and Avatar are the only ones that I actually enjoyed the three because they're shot in three D too. That's yeah. a big difference oh, when they're when they're when they're uh, like rotoscoped or whatever the terminology you know with the the, the they're ro- like they're you know converted into three D conversions. Yeah, the, I forget. Yeah. The, I don't know if there's a word for it, but when they're converted to three D, it's it's not. You don't want to see it in three D. Like yeah, you yeah. Avatar. Uh, another 3d movie that was actually shot in 3d life of pi there's just life a handful of, of them that were you know shot in 3d actually shot yeah. with 3d cameras as opposed to so many movies that it's just like let's cash in on this by you know converting it and most of those movies aren't very well done in 3d the marvel uh, ones are so the, bad the one, like the so one dark. the one exception that i didn't actually see but i heard is really spectacular in 3d is actually titanic and that's because james cameron oh, james cameron spent like 30 million dollars to do the conversion and normally they spend maybe a few i don't know maybe it's a few million if at most to do it in 3d where that was like an astronomical amount to spend to convert it so anyway i would not want to i don't want to watch any movie in 3d to be frank it, it was funny i saw years ago christopher nolan talked about why he didn't like 3d movies and it was right when man of steel was coming out and he was talking about his involvement in that and why he still named a producer basically he literally said i just set up the meeting between david goyer and the studio because they had this idea on how to do a new superman movie and then that was like really it and he was really like downplaying his involvement because you know everybody was speculating well you can do more dc movies and that was kind of like the the fan questions at the time but he talked about 3d and how in cinema we've worked all these years to make it brighter and then 3d basically just makes it dimmer so all this brightness that they've worked towards and they spend hundreds of thousand dollars on these on lighting rigs and so on and so forth, you're just like, oh, diminishing all that. Walk on the silver screen. I got to say you wouldn't believe.